Greetings, this is Edward Ajumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript for loop will be used. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. Loops execute one or more statements to a specific number of times. Use a for loop to irritate over data referring to a changing index. For jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course, web ID can be used for this tutorial and also inspired this tutorial. JavaScript runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web applications. You can also use it server-side, which allows for JavaScript applications to run outside a web browser. So what I will do in this tutorial, will create two uh, variables. One will be a, an array of even numbers, and the other one will be an array of names. As you can see, in this particular case, the even numbers are about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are five of them, and then there's three of the names. So if I was to print this out, I would have to print it out five times, and this one I have to print it three times, which is, if I have more data, you can imagine that would be extremely tedious. So a better option would simply be to uh, use a for loop, and then you can simply print them out. As you can see here, it's less line of code, much less code than printing it out. So for example, here it's one, two, three, four. There's four lines. Obviously, you can put it in one line, but in this four lines is 12 of the five. This one is also four, but you can imagine, for example, here, I'm also doing something else. I'm creating another verb. I could simply just have printed it out. Uh, same here. I could have used even less lines of code. Okay, so let's begin. As you know, you can also paste code in here, like, just like that. So let's make our first variable even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And then I'll create the other variable for names equals Jake and John. And James. Okay, now without loops, it's very tedious. For example, dot log even numbers the first index, and now to do the same thing, even numbers one. And remember, there's five of them. So the log, so even numbers two. And so the log, even numbers three. And finally, console dot log, even numbers four, because there's five of them. Okay, then I would have to do the same thing for names. So names zero console.log names one and finally console.log logs names for the third one. Now, with with loops, so create a for loop and a verb. I said let i start at zero, and I said i is less than even numbers dot length. We can put five here, <clears throat> but we can use length, which is a built-in uh, JavaScript method. And we say let, actually I'm not even gonna bother with that. So what I'll do is I'll just print out right to the console, I'll say console.log even numbers, the index will be i, plus 
escape so it goes to the next line so only three lines same thing for let n equals zero n less than names dot length n plus plus console dot log name the index will be n plus And to give it a new line. That's it. So you can see it was 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, Jake, John, James. Then with the for loop, I did 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh, it says undefined. What did I do wrong here? Oh, this is this should be names. That should be names. Compile it again. And you see Jake, John, and James. You can find the full article at ojumbo.com slash javascript hyphen for hyphen loop. Links are in the description. I explain what a for loop is, is here. And I also show you the three expressions needed for the for loop. For example, the first part is where you the code will be executed once before the code block. That, that's an example where it says i equals zero. And the second part defines the condition for the code block, how, basically how long it will run. So it will go until the even numbers dot length, how big they are. You can put a number there, five or whatever you wish. And then what happens after each code block is iterated through, and then it's i plus plus, means it, it, it increases by one, it increments. And then you can also use break and execution of the current structure. You can also use continue, which will skip the current iteration and go to the next one. You can expand here to see the JavaScript code snippet. This is the screenshot of what we've done today and the output. This is the video you're watching right now. Be sure to subscribe if you want more frequent content and you can also explain JavaScript here. It's uh, open source under the open source license. The W3C software license allows uh, commercial use modification distribution, allows making derivative proprietary. As you can see here, uh, if you want to learn JavaScript online at your own pace, you go to jumboshop.com and you can use the promo code SCHOOL for 20% off until the end of 2024. If you prefer to have just the ebook version, which won't have JavaScript or IDE, you can learn at your own pace. I've explained how to do that in a previous tutorial. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. Just search for Edward Jumbo. The links are in the description. Or if you go to this article, you see the JavaScript uh, course on jumbo.com. The link is right here. And the link for the ebook is right here. And of course, if you want one-on-one uh, -on -one tutorials online or if you if you want someone to create a website, custom website for you using all the things I've learned today, all applications, go to ajamboservice.com. As I said, the links are also in the description. Thank you.